Okay, so I've had a lot of questions about once I've recorded my Zoom meeting, how do I get that file into Google Classroom? So it depends on where you've saved that file. So if you opted to record into the cloud, you're gonna go into your dashboard, go there and you're gonna go to recording. So as you can see, I've got my recordings here and I can scroll down and I can find the one that I want. And you'll notice each recording has a couple of files depending on what happened in that meeting. So it could be, it's gonna have a video file, it's gonna have an audio only file, it's gonna have a, a text file and a transcript file. It will only have uh, text and transcript if there's actually communication in the, the actual chat. So that why some of my meetings have three and some have four, depending upon what was going on in the meeting. So I can click down here and I'm gonna say more and I'm gonna choose to download these files. And you wanna download all of them just in case you wanna have them. Cause remember, everything's gonna be deleted after 14 days. So I'm gonna click download those four files. Once I open up my Google Drive, you'll see I've created a dedicated folder and this is what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna have a dedicated folder that you keep all of your stuff in. So I've got my 2021 resources folder. I'm gonna open that up and you'll notice inside of my 2021 folder, I've got a Zoom recording folder. So if I open that folder up, I've created a subfolder under that that's gonna have every recording that I've done for all the trainings that I'm providing. So in your case, it's gonna be for your classes as you're saving those resources. So I'm gonna click on my Zoom recordings folder here and you'll see inside of my Zoom recordings, I have it organized by folders. So in my folders, I've named it by date so I know what it was, the name of my training and the school that I've supported. In your case, it could be first period uh, and you can even be particular about what the lesson was if you want, but you could put the date so you can go and easily find it. So in this case, I've downloaded this, these four elements right here. I would create a new folder. I'd put the date, I'm gonna call this demo so I know which one it is. So all right, so I'm gonna have this new folder right here. So I'm gonna open up that folder and you'll notice if you haven't sh clicked out of this right here, it's very easy for me to grab these four files. I can literally just one, two, three, and four for all of those files. Now, some might take a little bit longer than others because of the size of the file um, and they're uploading right now. And then what I will then do is I will open up my Google Classroom. So while that's uploading, because you see that this video is gonna take a little bit longer here. I'm gonna go here to my classroom. So I wanna post this in my Google Classroom for my Grady class. So if this is a recording, this was a training I did, in your case, it's gonna be the class that you taught. So you're gonna go into that particular class. You're gonna go to classwork. You're gonna choose create a material. So that means it's not an action item for students, it's just a resource for them. So I'm going to say lesson. Because you uh, can shuffle and reorder things, I would also put the date so you know what it is and maybe the particular topic on there as well. And then I'm gonna choose to add from my Google Drive. So it's gonna show the most recent files that you have or you can actually search in your drive. I'm gonna go here to my drive and make sure I get the correct one. So remember I filed them underneath that 2021. I'm gonna go here to my Zoom recordings and I can choose mine. So here's that one I wanted to load. There's the video, I click on it. I can say insert and then I can post this to the Google Classroom. So that's all you have to do. So if you had, now if you recorded locally, then you're gonna do the step of uploading to your file folder. So if I have this file folder here, I would say in, I would say new, I would say upload my file and I would choose to upload it from my computer wherever it's been saved on your computer. So under documents, look for the Zoom folder and under there is where you're gonna see any um, recordings that you have. So there's my Zoom recordings right there. That's how you grab those files and upload them into your Google Drive and then easily share them to Google Classroom. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching.